Here's how to play Monopoly, with my modified rules. Players will take turns rolling the two dice to determine who goes first. The player with the highest roll goes first. We'll assume that the car rolled the highest and the ship rolled lowest, so the car would go first. Starting in the go square, players will take turns rolling the dice and moving clockwise around the board according to the number on the dice. The car would roll, it got a 7, so it would move 7 spaces around the board. It landed on chance, which if a token lands on community chess or chance, the player will pull a card from the subsequent deck. So if I landed on chance, I would pull a card from the chance deck and I would read the card out. Advance to the nearest railroad. If unknown, eh. if unowned, you may buy from the bank. If owned, pay owner twice the rental to which they are otherwise entitled. So, the nearest railroad ahead of me would be Pennsylvania Railroad. So, I advance and I end up on Pennsylvania Railroad. And because it is unowned, I can choose to buy it. Since it's advantageous to buy uh, railroads and utilities and properties in general, I will buy the Pennsylvania Railroad. I would pay $200 to the bank, and in return, I would get the title deed card for Pennsylvania Railroad. This card is then flipped over and put at the bottom of the deck, and the deck is returned back to its base. A new addition I've added to the game is that players will have to pay a tax each time they make a full trip around the board back to the go space. At the start of the game, taxes are fairly low at a dollar, but increase by a dollar each time the player passes go. So, for instance, if I continued my turn, got all the way around, and the car got back to go, the player would collect $200 as printed on the space, but they would have to pay a dollar for the uh, tax. However, if a player owns property, they must pay the current tax amount plus $5 for every property, utility, or railroad they own. So, because the car owns Pennsylvania Railroad, its r taxes would increase from a dollar to six dollars. If, for instance, later on in the game, the ship somehow acquires all three of the light blue color group, they own a monopoly. And because of that, they would then owe increased taxes because of owning a monopoly. If a player owns a monopoly, the taxes are increased by $50 plus $5 for each house token and $10 for each hotel token on that owned property. I made this rule because it adds a sort of competitive aesthetic to the game in that you have to be very cautious with buying while also thinking about like future money management. Now, if a player were to land on a unknown property, like before with the Pennsylvania Railroad, the player can choose to buy the property or put it up for auction. There is a new rule that I've added to go with the railroads. If the railroad is owned by another player, the player that landed on the owned railroad will have to pay the rent for that railroad, but can also optionally pay $25 to continue to the next railroad on the board. However, if they choose to advance to the space and it's unowned, they cannot decide to buy it or put it up for auction, and they can't again use the $25 payment to move again. I added this rule mostly because it adds a sort of, I wouldn't say competitive, but more advantageous edge to the game. Players can go to jail due to three things either landing on the square marked go to jail, by picking a go to jail card, or by throwing three doubles in a row. Players can also get out of jail in three ways, using a get out of jail free card, rolling doubles on one of three consecutive turns, they'll have three chances to roll doubles to get out of jail. But if they are unable to roll doubles after three turns, they must pay $50 to get out of jail. Now while in jail, players are still able to buy properties, if at auction, sell properties that they own, 
build houses and hotels on monopolies they own, and collect rent from other players. If a player goes into bankruptcy when they do not have enough money or assets to pay the bank or other players, they may optionally sell houses and hotels back to the bank for half of their original value. If this does not produce enough money, though, the player must give all their own property back to the bank or an opponent and is eliminated from the game. So yeah, that's how to play Monopoly. Feel free to play with your friends, have a good time, and if you want to introduce the rules I came up with and try them out, feel free.